That's right, folks. It's the manga slot back again. We got manga, manga, manga. We got small box, medium box, big, heavy box. We're gonna open these two, and then we got something special, big and heavy, and chungus in this box. Now, today's boxes came from in stock trades, in stock trades, and special place which doesn't exist. So, let me remove these real quick and we'll open the small one first and see what's inside all right here we are close up we got a butter knife and we got the first box from in stock trades i do not remember what i ordered so let's just get right into it here give these a little cutsy there may be some weird edits here right in the beginning once we open this because they do give pieces of paper with information, names and stuff. And I'd prefer for you guys to not know my address because I'll just be swarmed with fans all day long, autographs and pictures and photo ops and stuff like that. It's, it's just gonna take all day. Okay, with the power of the internet, I took out the main piece of paper right here with my address so you all can see how they do their packaging. They build you a beautiful, perfect styrofoam in vacuum sealed chamber. Look at that. Perfect cut lines, everything to get you your manga safe and sound. Now on top would normally be your purchase list, your address and all that stuff, the contents of your box. And then, I think we can just pull this out. Then you have your manga stacked and it will be stacked in a way perfectly with your hard covers, your manga on top and everything. It'll be vacuum sealed in this little space so nothing moves around, jiggles or gets out. And then it will be attached to a board sometimes. And sometimes they're also in peanuts so nothing can move around even more. Okay, yeah, I'm starting to remember what I ordered here. We'll pull these out. Chuck this. I have to do all this backwards because I'm sitting different. I got shortcake cake number four. My wife loves this series and we've been waiting on number four. And she, I think, has five, six, seven, eight after this. So she's definitely been wanting this. Okay, and we're getting some of my D. Gray Man here. We got my D. Gray Man 19 that I've been waiting for. Uh, if you've been following me or you know me, I'm trying to collect all the D. Gray Mans. And uh, with these boxes, I should have them all now. And it's, it's kind of nice. I'm used to D. Gray Man and other mangas that are a little older that I'm collecting to be all used, you know, yellowed, old, but these coming in absolutely pristine is very cool to see. We got D Gray Man 21, and then I've been waiting on Isuwari Bito number two, another older series, not super old, but definitely older. And then here's number five of it. And with that, I should have like 15 of these all up to date. Uh, it's definitely nice to have these uh, come in brand new. Let's jump into the next box here. Yeah, there we go. That's how you treat your manga. All right, this one's bulging with manga overflowing. Use our kitchen butter knife to slice this open. Set that there just in case we need to cut some manga. Okay, once again, this one's a little bigger, so it might be taking up more space here on screen, but we'll get rid of the box in a second. Just showing you, even with bigger boxes full of manga, what a great, great way to pack manga so securely. Okay, here is the second stack. This is also from In Stock Trades. And let's get into this here. Stack these up. I have Torico number 12. I am still collecting these one at a time. Uh, I'm not having much trouble finding them. There's a couple volumes like 10 and 16 that I'm having trouble finding. If you have them, make sure you 
let me know and we can wheel and deal. We got Flying Witch number six and number seven. That's pretty sweet. These covers look great. A series my wife didn't know about in the beginning with the first volume, wasn't too interested in it. And then she read number two and here we are at number seven. She obviously likes them now. If I'm holding it like this on the camera, does this look like a DVD? To me, it kind of looks like a DVD. The quality and the art on the front just looks so nice on these. It almost looks like it could be a Miyazaki movie. Okay, next is Toriko number eight. We've got some more Torikos in here. I apologize if I'm not showing these on camera that great, doing everything backwards here. We've got Toriko number seven. If there's anyone out there uh, watching, if you have read Toriko, let me know if you enjoyed it the whole way to the end or you quit some part through. I don't hear much talk about it. I don't know if it's just because it's so out of print or maybe it's just extremely unpopular or something. Okay, we got D, more D. Graymans here. D. Grayman 16. Number 26. This series is pretty great, but it is slow as a snail to come out. Here's something different. This is what number 14? Nara, Rise of the Yokai Clan, number 14. We got D Gray Man 13. Nura number 12 and Nura number 15. These two uh, orders from Instock Trades were just buying uh, older stuff that I was having a harder time finding other places in bulk. You know, one here, one there, one here, one there is not that fun. So they had massive amounts of Torco and Nara, Rise of the Yokai Clan, and D Grayman. So I went with them for that. Now let's get into something I've been waiting for. I am very excited for this, and I am definitely behind. I am late to the party, as you may say. This big old box right here, it is heavy. It is definitely heavier than oh, most boxes of manga I get. If you notice something, it keeps telling me do not unpack. And it says do not break open here, do not unpack. As you can see from this side, do not unpack, do not unpack. And I'm not going to show you my side, that's got all my credentials. Let's open this up here. Trying to use a knife in this position and backwards, not recommended. All right, we open it up and it's another box. Look at that, folks. This is what you came to the Monk Sloth to see. Quality content. We do box unboxings here. So I got a do not unpack box that we're gonna have to break the rules again. But this one seems to have some padding on the sides. Let me flip this and pull this out. Okay, so here is the do not unpack box that was inside of the other do not unpack box. You know what we do here on the manga slot. We break things right down the middle. Don't ever cut towards yourself. I am a professional. As I say that, I mess up. Maybe it's inside this. We open this up and whoop, it is. It is inside. And it's still heavy, even after removing all this packaging. That is right, folks. The manga sloth, late to the party, has decided to pick up Shakira Shakira. None other than Akira, a masterpiece. The 35th anniversary edition. Since we're here, Let's do a little quick unboxing. You know, a lot of these are out in the wild right now. So you might have already seen it, but you haven't seen the manga stuff with one. What happened is I read the first Akira with, that was just trade paperback. It was not any of these editions, obviously. And it was good. I really enjoyed it. So my thought process was, am I going to 
go ahead and buy the rest of the paper ones, which are not bad additions. They're pretty good, but am I going to spend 20 bucks each on five more, which is a hundred dollars? Or can I spend 40 more bucks and just nab this and get the beautiful editions? I never watched any reviews on this. So, oh, it just opens like that. Oh my. I mean, I've seen these. Wow. And it has like a smell, like a new book, beautiful smell here. This, I don't know what this is. Oh, this is an Akira Club. This is some kind of uh, art book and wow like a collector's edition yeah collector's edition artwork with some writing down there oh neat all the stuff from the world old drawings and stuff of it excellent and that's what it looks like with the dust cover off and it's all textured wow that's really nice let's see what else we got over here oh this is cool i've seen this this is a Oh, neat. Yeah, this is a patch. And I, like I said, I only read the first volume of Akira, so I'm a little behind and don't know everything. But this is the drugs that they take in it, I think. So that's pretty cool. And I'm not going to pull each and every one of these out. Let's just grab one here. Let's grab this nice purple one. And let's see here. So all the ones I have and all the ones I've known are soft cover. And these are all hardcover with these great dust covers on them. And look at that. They didn't just go ahead and print them black or white. They went ahead and printed different artwork. And it is great looking. Wow, these look great. Such a nice addition. Oh, and colored inner pages too. This is the back of the book. Oh yeah, these look great. And the ink and the pages, everything just looks, everything just looks great. Can't just say great anymore, just looks great. So there you have it, folks. Three boxes of manga and one that is special edition, Akira's. They look awesome and they're going to be a staple in my collection for a long time. I'm going to be very happy displaying these. Let me know down in the comments if you've read Akira, if you have this edition, the old editions, the comics, anything, and uh, let me know what you think. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. <laughs>